Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody had a good day today. I uh, just want to say happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. I hope yours went good. Um, you know, when I was sitting down today trying to think of what song to do for today, Valentine's Day, and, um, you know, for me kind of getting back into the rhythm of things, um, it's been quite a while since I've posted anything. And, and for those of you keeping up in the uh, community tab or the comment section of the community tab, uh, you know it's because I, I had uh, diverticular disease, had 12 inches of my colon removed through a robotic uh, lower anterior resection surgery. Um, so anyway, i kind of been out of pocket and recovering from that. I'm probably going to make an entire video on that whole process and what I've been through uh, since October the 5th of 2023 when the um, uh, abscess was first discovered in my colon. But anyway, not going to get into all that in today's video. Just going to say I'm, I'm, I'm starting to, to get back out there. And uh, I thought, what uh, a better day than Valentine's Day, right? But before I get into all that, you know I have to go ahead and thank everybody for liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. Uh, thank you to my Patreon supporters and other supporters of my channel. Uh, if you would like to help support the channel, there are links in the description down below. And I just want to say, uh, when I took my slate out today to uh, make this video, the date on the slate was 12-22 of 23, which I'm assuming is the last time I made a video uh, like this in this in my normal format. Um, I hadn't went back and looked to see when the last video I did was, but that sounds about right. Um, and I just want to express my gratitude because even though it's been almost two months, since I've released a video in my normal format, uh, I'm still getting uh, support from you on Patreon and uh, super thanks and, and general donations. And I just want to say, I don't know any other um, audience on YouTube that would do that, that the creator would be out for an extended amount of time and still get all this support. So I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate every single one of you um, just by hanging in there and waiting on me to get back. Uh, it looks like I've lost six subscribers, and that's completely understandable. I mean, I quit uploading. I pretty much shut the channel down for uh, two months, and I don't know how active it's going to be going forward, but I know it's going to be uh, more active than it was the last two months. Um, like I said in, in one of the videos I uploaded on the community page, uh, I'm going to try to change my style a little bit, I guess you could say. Um, I'm going to scale back request only because I, I let it worry me to the point to where it's not fun anymore. If I have all these requests to do and only a certain amount of days to do them, and uh, it, it gets in my head. It's not anything any of y'all are doing. Please keep your requests coming because the the larger the pool I have to choose from, the better the content is. Um, and I also don't want to be roped into doing um, exclusively requests uh, because there are things that I would like to get out there like today's video. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm probably going to make a video with all those things in there. I'm going to change the Patreon up uh, to where uh, requests are, are not a monetary thing. It kind of makes me feel dirty anyway. Um, taking money to do requests. I just, I don't know. I just want to revamp that whole thing. The The last thing I want is to make it seem like uh, it's a pay to play deal. And it's not. Um, I, I do requests from everybody. It doesn't matter if you um, make a donation or not, or if you support the channel or not. Um, I just don't want to feel obligated to those who do. Uh, I want it to be fair across the board. But anyway, like I said, uh, all that aside, I just want to say thank you to those who've hung in there and who've stuck around, even though the content creator wasn't there. And it's it's very touching to me. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I haven't had a chance. If I go to my YouTube right now, I think there's like 530 something comments that uh, have have been there for the last two months. There is absolutely no way I can go through 530 comments. Um, so if you commented and I don't see it, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to try to spend a little bit of time answering comments on the more recent videos. 
uh, like today's. I'll probably try to answer some comments tomorrow, but I just don't have the time to do that. And I feel like as a creator, without you and your interaction, I don't have a channel. And in the past, I've I've dedicated so much time, hours and hours and hours uh, throughout the day answering comments because that's how I feel like a creator should be. But at the same time, you get into this paradox to where as the channel grows and you want it to grow, it gets impossible to answer every comment. So if I miss a comment or I don't reply to a comment, I apologize. It's just the way this YouTube works. Uh, but anyway, enough of all that. Let's get into today's video, uh, today's song. It It's kind of special to me because it's one of the very first songs I ever heard from Elvis on a CD. A guy I worked with, I don't even know the name of the CD, but it was a two CD set. Um, and this was one of the songs on there. And I remember working and listening to this song amongst other Elvis songs. So this song kind of stands out to me. Uh, because I remember it being one of the first songs on a CD uh, that I've heard from Elvis. It, it, it's not your traditional Valentine song. And as you know, I don't really do traditional things on my channel. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of other Elvis YouTube channels today that are doing Love Me Tender or Big Hunk of Love or Burning Love or maybe even Fever. No. What I decided to do today for Valentine's Day goes all the way back 66 years ago this month, when it was recorded February 1st of 1958 and then released April the 7th of 1958, um, it's Wear My Ring Around Your Neck. It's, it's a love song. You know, he's talking to his lady and telling her he wants her to wear his ring, which was a thing back in the 50s, you know, like wearing the Letterman jackets and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, like I said, 66 years ago this month, it was first recorded. Um, it's a short song. I like it. I've always liked it. I like the little drum uh, rhythm and feel there towards the end, uh, which was uh, DJ Fontana uh, along with Bill Black on the bass, Scotty Moore on lead guitar, Dudley Brooks on piano, and backed up by the Jordanaires. Um, recorded, of course, at RCA. And uh, I didn't know this, though, until I went to look up the, the song, is that it peaked at number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot R&B singles, number two on U.S. Billboard Hot 100, and number three on U.S. Billboard Hot Country singles. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this song, and I uh, hope you had, like I said, a good Valentine's Day, and uh, let's just listen to it. Won't you wear my ring up around your neck To tell the world I'm yours by heck Let them see your love for me And let them see by the ring around your neck Won't you wear my ring up around your neck To tell the world I'm yours by heck Let them know
That's what I'm talking about right there. Fast pace, good lyrics, good delivery, clear message. A classic, right? A classic Elvis love song. Uh, I don't know who put this video together. Uh, obviously, it's not a video for the song, uh, but it is one that shows a young Elvis uh, with Wear My Ring Around Your Neck playing, and I just felt like that was a pretty good match. So. That's the one I decided to use. Anyway, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I feel good. My recovery's going great. I have nobody to thank but the good Lord above. Uh, he has placed his healing hands on me, and uh, I I couldn't ask for a better recovery. Uh, the odds were kind of stacked against me on the recovery process and how long I'd be in the hospital, if I would have a bag or not, which I do not have a bag. And uh, anyway, I just uh, the recovery process has been phenomenal. I've been back to work for a week now, although doing light duty stuff. Uh, but I'm slowly getting back into the rhythm of things, which is why when I get home from work, I'm so exhausted. And uh, I, I just haven't had the energy to do one of these videos. Uh, not that it takes a whole lot, but it's just time consuming. And uh, anyway... Just wanted to throw this out here on today's Valentine's Day. Let y'all know I'm doing good and how much I appreciate your support and hanging in there with me through this difficult time as I recover. And uh, that's all I got for today. So thank everybody for watching. Thank everybody for liking and subscribing. Thank you to my supporters. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone had a good Valentine's Day. We'll see you next time. Y'all keep TCB and take care now. Bye-bye. All right, here we go. Back in the saddle. This is Elvis. Wear my ring around your neck from 1958. Take one. But this one kind of stands out. I think my cats are fighting. Hey! Y'all knock it off. Cats. And speaking of cats, when I sat down today to do this video, there was enough fur on on my mixer and my microphone and the green screen and my effects processor. I could probably have made two more cats. Like when I was sitting down every day doing videos, I was keeping this area pretty much clean. I have a duster right here and a, a vacuum. Uh, you know, just keeping the cat hair off, because you know, if you own cats, it doesn't matter what you do, cat hair gets everywhere somehow. It gets on the ceiling. I have no idea how it gets on the ceiling. But anyway, uh, it took a, a a pretty good minute to get all this cleaned back up to where I don't feel like I'm sitting in the belly of a tiger. But anyway, I digress. Uh, but this song, like I said, 66 years ago today, or not today, 